if I just keep doing what's right. Now, sometimes we mess up. We say, Father, forgive me. Help me never to do that again. And then he strengthens you, lifts you up, just like he did Peter when he got out of the boat. Now, to me, that whole thing with the Peter getting out of the boat and walking on the water, that's pretty awesome. Yes. We start looking around. You got his eyes off Jesus. We start looking around at his circumstances. That's why the Bible says, we walk by faith and not by sight while we look not at things which are seen, the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, temporary, but the things which are not seen are, are eternal. See, if we'll take a temporary circumstance and we'll apply God's word to it, which is eternal, which cannot change. If we really will apply it and stand in faith and believe it and speak it and act on it, right. then that eternal truth of God will take our temporary circumstance and it'll, and it'll make it change. There's a, law of, there's a law of gravity. How many of you know that? There's a law of gravity. That means like if I drop, like if I drop this mic, it would, I'm not going to drop the mic. Why don't you drop that? There. If you drop that, it falls. They say, what goes up must come down. But there's other laws that are higher laws. <coughs> like there's the law of lift. You ever seen a plane? You seen those great big jets that fly? Yes. They weigh thousands and thousands yeah. of pounds. And they fly. I watch those fly. Every day I'm out there at the airport, I watch those fly. And that's amazing. They, they're full of like hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. they, they just lift up and fly up into the sky above the clouds. But see, a law of lift is a higher law than a law of gravity. So you apply the law of lift, the law of gravity is negated. When we take and apply a spiritual law to a natural circumstance, that, that is a higher law, that's an immovable law, that's an yes. unbreakable law, yes. that law will change the law of circumstance. So when your body has sickness and disease in it, and you start standing on the promise of God, that by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. And you believe that with all your heart. And you start acting on that. You start applying that. that. That law of God will supersede the disease in your body. Amen. That's why Jesus could heal all kinds of manners of sickness and disease. Not because, not, it, it was because of what he was about to do. You see, when Jesus did that at Calvary, all he paid the price for was for all from eternity, all from beginning to, to his time and for, forevermore. You see, God's never, ever changed. He's always provided healing for his people. He's, all, he, he's always loved us. But see, even those old covenant, they got their sins forgiven by obeying God under the old covenant. But it was all about what Jesus would do on the cross. Amen. So he paid the price at Calvary. He bare our sickness, our disease, our infirmities, our poverty. All at Calvary. Our sins. He who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of yes. God through him. That we might become the righteousness of God. We can be holy as he is holy. Amen. That's what the Bible says. You believe the Bible? Amen. I, 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 I had somebody come and say, do you believe this part of the Bible? I, I said, I believe it all. You know? Amen. It's in the Bible. I believe it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's all true. Yes. We, need, we live in a time where Jesus is about to come back. Amen. Jesus is about to bust up these clouds wide open. Amen. We're about to be caught up together with him in the clouds. I'd like to be alive when he comes, but if I'm not, it's okay. I, I'll, I'll be, just go to be with the Lord. My spirit and soul will be, go to be with the Lord. And then when the, when the